All right, this is a combat metrics quick start guide. Uh, if you guys are interested in learning how to read the combat metrics window, uh, this is the place to do it. So first of all, to open the window, you're going to type slash CMX in the chat and that'll open up a window here. Um, so in this instance, I have a fight from the Rock Grove trial that we're going to be looking at. Uh, I'm going to go over exactly what this window is, how to read it, everything like that, uh, and what you can learn from it. So first of all, if we look at the uh, top left box here, um, we can just see like the active time that we were in combat and stuff like that and what your DPS was, uh, what the group DPS was and all that good stuff, right? Um, so that's uh, just to give you a general sense of what happened in your previous fight. And then in the middle window here, uh, there's three buttons that we can click. Um, there is the uh, blue icon here, the green icon here, and the red icon here. So the red icon is going to be useful for tanks. The green icon is going to be useful for um, stamina DPS or stamina healers, if that's a thing. <laughs> and then we got the blue one here, which is useful for uh, mag DPS, uh, mag healers, you know, stuff like that. Um, so we can uh, get an idea of what uh, our spell damage, our crit and crit damage, spell pen, all that good stuff. We, we, we can see all that here along with your max resources and things like that. So in this case, uh, I was on a Zen DK in this fight. Uh, so I'm going to be looking at the mag window here. Um, we can see that uh, through the fight, effectively, my spell damage was 8,102 and I reached a max of 8,561. Um, so this is basically just saying like uh, Throughout the entire fight, I basically had an average of 8,102 spell damage and uh, a max of 8,561, obviously. And then for the spell crit, uh, we can see what my average was there, along with my max. And same thing with the crit damage. It's pretty simple. Uh, so spell pen. Um, this is kind of important. So ideally, uh, you should have a how, how do i word this so all the enemies in eso uh will have a, a resistance of 18.2k um so uh the better your effective is uh to getting 18.2 then the more damage you're gonna be putting out right so in this case uh it wasn't quite there it was at about 14.8k but our max was 18.6. So whenever we did have our debuffs on the enemy, our pen was about 18.6, uh, which is good. But the effective was not so much. Um, so that's just saying, for like, on average throughout the fight, our pen was about 14.8. So it could have definitely had a lot more damage there if that effective was a bit higher. And again, if you were a stamina DPS, uh, you would want to look at that through the stamina window here because that will give you different numbers. So uh, moving on to the right top right box, uh, we can see what kind of buffs you have. So if you are on the debuffs in tab, that'll show you all your uh, buffs that you had throughout the raid. So you can go through all this and see what it all was, right? Um, so we can see things like a powerful assault, major sorcery, minor courage, major courage, like all that, all that good stuff, right? So uh that's definitely a good thing to keep an eye on make sure that your buffs are actually up and stuff like that uh and that your supports are giving you the buffs that you need um so we'll get to the debuffs tab here in a second but before we get there i'm going to show you the bottom left window which is where you can highlight uh specific enemies and you can see exactly how much the ps your abilities here we're doing to that enemy in the bottom right window so if I select a different enemy, you'll see that the DPS numbers are different. So to Oaks, my Flames of Oblivion was doing about 9.6, but to the Havoc Roll Annihilator, it was doing about 2.1. And then you can see like your crits uh, and your max hit and stuff like that all here as well. Um, so as far as Oaks, if we highlight Oaks and then click debuffs, you can see uh, what debuffs were on Oaks through the fight. 
So if you didn't have Oak selected here in the bottom left window, it would look like the debuffs are worse than they actually are. Uh, so that's why you want to make sure that uh, whenever you're looking at debuffs on the enemy that you have an enemy highlighted. And then you can get actual numbers. So you can see here our line breaker, which is from an Alkosh set, uh, was actually at 81 and not um, 34, like it says here, if I didn't have Oaks highlighted in that bottom left window. So this is the fight stats tab. Um, this is pretty much everything I think you might want to know about the fight stats tab. But if we go over to the info tab, we have other information as well. So... Um, something I'll bring to your guys' attention is over here. I do not have a fighting finesse, uh, champion point, which would have given me, uh, I forget what the number is. I think it's like 6% or 8%, uh, crit damage. And that would have been useful in this fight because if we go back to the fight stats tab here, you'll see that my effective crit damage was 110 and the max uh, crit damage is 125%, right? So if we would have had the Fighting Finesse uh, champion point, our effective crit damage would have been higher. So effectively, we would have done more damage throughout the fight, uh, simply speaking. <laughs> but that's not entirely how it works, but you get the idea, right? So if we had slotted Fighting Finesse, could have done more damage there. Um, so going through the windows here, the top left uh, window, you can see uh, your bar one and like what, how many times you casted an ability, right? So on my front bar here with the, my dual wield, I did uh, 141 uh, casts of the light attack there, right? And I missed 13. So you can see uh, what abilities I have and how many times I casted them. And then same thing with bar two, it's the same thing here. And if we go down a little bit, we can see the weaving average and the total time wasted between casts, right? So basically uh, what this means is how much time in between each ability I spent not doing anything, right? Um, so in this case, yeah, it says it right here, when you hover over it, average time wasted between two skill casts. So I wasted about uh, 0.2 seconds on average between each skill cast uh, and then total throughout the entire fight I wasted about 33 seconds so essentially you can read these as uh, during this fight which was 3 minutes and 23 seconds long uh, I wasted 33 seconds uh, so obviously that's not good we want to bring that down as close to zero as possible ideally right obviously that's going to be pretty difficult to do but the closer you can get to zero the better uh, essentially and then here you can see the weapon attacks and skill casts. Uh, so ideally these two numbers would be the same because um, that would mean that you're weaving perfectly, right? Uh, light attack skill, light attack skill. That's how this game works, right? Uh, that's how the uh, combat sort of operates in this game. So uh, ad ideally these would be the same. And then here in this bottom window, you can see what gear you're wearing and all that good stuff. Uh, like what kind of enchants you have on your weapons, what traits they are, all that. So you can see like if you were missing any gear by chance, I don't know, in case you forgot to equip something, anything like that. And then over here on the right, you can see what champion points you had slotted. Um, so yeah, uh, that's a general overview. Uh, it might've been a little bit more uh, specific than I wanted to make this video, but there's a lot to go through here. And I think it's useful to know all these things. Uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, definitely let me know either uh, on Discord or in the comments if you're watching this on youtube anything like that uh thanks for watching have a good day